let us think about the very practical aspect of this because now we have to come back to the body to be connected with the the, the ground to be ground oriented so we see the reality we are focusing our mind to the situations in which today we are living and we see the turbulence the problems the difficulties that is growing everywhere aggravating everywhere and what first should be done because before this higher knowledge and high truth being integrated to human life before to that we have to make the ground ready for that pacify the earth pacify the aggravated energies working in the nature pacify human minds we have to bring peace first then only the higher things can be got first peace then the journey so now uh, we are planning here for that great prayer for peace to bring peace to earth to human mind all aspect of life on earth we have to work and these prayers are a collective prayer because we are all joining in this higher process and we are blessed with the higher principles higher truths higher instruments higher methods transmitted by your rishis the vedic mind. for example sri rudra japa sri rudra archana these are some personal formulas to bring peace to earth, to bring peace to human mind so we all together working with this higher principles to bring peace to earth first and the for the last four years in our ashram in kerala we are doing a regular vedic rituals sri rudra japa and logathile two opposite forces are actively working on the earth plane the positive forces and the negative forces and the order of earth is maintained by the balancing of these forces the positive forces and when the negative forces exceed the balance the order is disturbed and today we can see this imbalance because the negative forces are become more powerful on earth and the great and the imbalance is occurring in all aspect of our life this order in our personal life this order in our families this order is being reversed and uh, according to the vedic tradition whenever such disorder evolved on earth they do great yagas and yagyas and yagas and yagyas are a collective activity where the great sadhakas the great tapasvis all the high energy and consciousness they come together and they use the divine vedic mantras to connect with the higher plane to bring the energy to, to bring balance likewise such yagas and agnyas had been used very effectively to bring order back to bring the balance in life and now the game something of such kind is absolutely necessary to bring balance back to the earth human life and such yagas and agnyas can be very positively used for the elevation of human life on earth balancing as well as elevation and in our system we are doing such yagas and agnyas for bringing this peace harmony this uh, name rudra is from the vedas and it denotes the um, one of the princip- principal aspect of the divine force and the divine force on the earth plane work with uh, different uh, faces for example the rudra is one principal phase of facet of the divine force and uh, this 
name is a natural this uh, prayer we do in two three steps the first step is rudra sri rudra chanting that is you are chanting the mantra then because it is you are not familiar with this mantra so you can just listen this mantra so that this energy can move deep into our subtle levels and it can create the right atmosphere inside so an attend an attend you listening is enough at the first stage she do white she do drama class our channel and in the next stage we also participate in this process by archana